If I can tell you that I have to be very disciplined in order to get off some of these platforms, I can only imagine what it's like for some of the youngsters out there. Some of those who might not be able to be as disciplined. You would get up in the morning without having really slept at night and you are groggy through the day and you're upset with the real people around you simply because you were just scrolling and laughing at your screen at a time when you were meant to be asleep. And do you know that at the moment we have not just the coronavirus, but we have what is called Omicron, right? And you need to have an immune system that is a little bit stronger and that will not happen if you haven't slept properly. And if you're going to be on your phone, you're not going to be able to sleep properly. So what's going to happen? You're more likely to get sick and ill and you're wondering why, but you're not sleeping on time. And if you take a look at the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, what does he encourage us to do at night? What does the Quran tell us to do at night? The Quran says that Allah created the night for us to rest. Yes, there are exceptions. You have a guard, you have people who need to work at night. You have someone who has something important to do at night. It's not prohibited. Allahu alladhi ja'ala lakumu al-layla litaskunu feehi wa nahara mubsira. It's Allah who created the night in order for you to rest in. In order for you to achieve that comfort in. And he created the day such that you can see in it. So that's why you work. That's why you get up and you do things during the day. Allah wants you to get up in the morning for Salatul Fajr. That's not possible to happen unless you sleep on time. So let's realize that we have beautiful guidance. 